Hello and welcome back to the most enjoyable time in Mass Effect 3! Let's, uh, last time we explored space a bit, let's do some more of that. Let's uh, check up with the uh, trainer, so that's nothing new. Do we have any new messages? That is the war strength, we'll check that out later. Email. No, check most of that, okay. Spectre. Active cults. To run down for the most dangerous cult in the galaxy this time. For also exalted light of the world with a prophet. Yeah, so there are some creepy cults about uh, with all reapers going on. Oh, I was not done reading. Sub Rosa. The Council, in constant session, the interspecies diplomacy faltering without their leadership, major galactic powers have been forced to look elsewhere for allies. Diplomat Vala has been quietly reached out to this out for Spectre support in closing a clandestine deal of turfness. Though she has neglected to reveal the nature of the alcohol rally relationship, the prospect bringing rally back into the war is worth considering. Apparently, this is like a minor species, so yes. Let us help the out that might help who knows so let's have a chat uh, with Joker and Edie in the cockpit I don't think we actually had like a chat there besides uh, the little chat encounter we had on the Citadel hello there Joker hello Joker so Jack's an instructor I guess anyone who messes with biotic kids gets turned into a small stain on the floor and ceiling Ooh, and that was Cerberus attacking the Academy. Anyway, nice job on getting them out of there. They were throwing out some impressive biotic power. Good. We could use some heavy hitters in the biotics department. Yep. That'd be good for them, That's too. That's a plan. Biotics face a lot of discrimination. Maybe if they save the galaxy, people will get over their issues. I didn't expect you to be sensitive about that. Hey, I'm just tired of them stealing the spotlight from people with actual disabilities. Ooh. I break ribs if I sneeze too hard. Being able to move crap with your mind is not a handicap. You know, I think they get nosebleeds when doing that, but yeah, your point. Commander. Okay, nothing new there. Edie! Hello. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? This body's performance seemed adequate on our last mission, but only adequate. Uh -huh. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Okay. Perhaps we should speak privately. Yeah, Joker, don't drool too much. I'll be over here, flying the ship. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, uh -huh. do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Hmm. That's a tough one for Pi. He's a hard ass. I think he makes a calcu- yeah, but otherwise, hmm. Yeah, I think the bottom- If I give a legitimate order, I expect it to be carried out. I'll be responsible for its costs. Yeah, good. Why good are you asking answer. about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? I do think uh, Pi will support freedom here. Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you want level-headed answers to help you fit into polite society, I'm not really the right person. Yes, definitely true there, Pi. I will take that into consideration. Pi's more about punching. And surviving, uh, treasure moss. 
So that was a little bit of a catch up with the cockpit crew. With Joker at the moment, I think the emphasis lies on cock with the pit. Let's see. Uh, we have not had a chat with uh, that reporter, so I think we should take our chance with that. So we don't have a grunt in here. Let's see, do, are there any spares of uh, Jack stuff left? I don't know if we have actually been to uh, engineering just yet. Yeah, no, because there's a lot of stuff to collect here. Oh, that just goes back up to the AI core. Handy, but we were checking out engineering. Shadow Broker ship is apparently hiding in these crates. Sovereign. We're going to have a very filled model cabinet in our quarters like this. Oh, no more Tali here. Oh! Engineering upgrades. Feel further. I think these are all the things we got from Mass Effect uh, 2, yeah. Mech Bay. Interesting. Shooting range. That's handy. Armor Max defense uh, systems. Javelin missile battery. Okay, so we can spend some quality money in here as well. I don't think we will at the moment, but that's good to know. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? He was from the first I was game. I in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made yep. me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that... They Cerberus probably kidnap people to do an that. Apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why did you refuse? Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? You know what? That's a reasonable excuse, because we... Bloody hate Cerberus, so yeah. Your alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. So, some questions. Uh, how you feel about Edie? That's important. Oh, let's start with the Normandy itself. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Sounds very Pretty Cerberus. Much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means... We should be able Are to drop out of go FTL over all the upgrades now? every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. Cool. And uh, how about the ED thing outside? What do you think of ED? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? 
processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. Ooh, kinky. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and in time, I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Yeah, probably because she's a sexy woman voice. That helps. Very strategic. So, uh, yeah, about the other two engineers we released. How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. And the other one. How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No yeah! Concern. Slap his ass down if you need to! Okay, and the family? Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. What's an agricultural vessel? Is that like a flying farm? Okay, well, carry on. Carry on, on Adams. Aye, aye, sir. So, these two. It's great to be back. Feels good to be in an Alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Power grid is in the green. Okay. Commander. So, not too much to talk here. Right then. So, let's talk with that reporter and see if we can do more exploring of the galaxy. Breaking now. Cerberus portrays its principles with gunfire. They're a radical pro-human group, so why did they just attack a human school? Interviews with faculty at Grissom Academy, next in the battle space. Okay, hello. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just Squint doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Uh, get us support, I think, yeah. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. Yeah, everyone fighting! Planet. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. Cry, cry, sniff, sniff. I am Alcor. Oh, and you didn't mind, uh, you put a double bed in the trash compartment area. Where did you leave the press trap trash compactor? I am worried now. The ship is gonna be overflowing with garbage. So, back to the combat information center. And let's go do some space exploring. So we are, yes, in Amazon. I think we're pretty much done with this sector. Schema. Artemis Town. So let's see where there's bloopy things. Seems to be a blooping thing over here. Dealership. Ah, yes, they sold like stuff, I think. Signal confirmed. Hello. Joe up. Joe up, tip tap tap do up. Scanning for the Joe up, tip tap a do. Arias forces. Joe up, frontierman. Okay. The terminus irregular, so we got a bit of a militia 
folk going on over here? Right, so let's return to Alpha Draconis. Do we have fuel? Yeah, we're full on fuel. So actually, I am going to Iota Urania first. Nothing yet. Maybe nothing in the system. Yeah, I think there's nothing in the system just yet. Oh well, might reveal something at a later date. At least now we know. On to Alpha Draconis. Badass dragon, alright. So that's the dealer ship. Let's find out what that's about. Commander, thank you for responding to my message. The broker's efficiency never ceases to amaze me. I think you'll be quite impressed with what I have to offer. My entire stock is at your disposal for what I think you will find quite reasonable prices. I have decided to take a long trip and have no need for credits where I'm going. However, I do need artifacts, resources and technology. That is where you come in. Choose a contract and return to me once it's complete. For each one that you complete, I will offer you an item of choice within from my inventory as an act of good faith uh, in our mutual beneficial arrangements. Please peruse my collection and select an item. The first one is free. Right, so we get one free selection of stuff. Ah, and so we can just pick like an upgrade stuff. So this is quite a good gun. I'm also tempted to buy this, Kev Spitfire. So these I actually have to pay a little bit for and the rest is kind of free. We can make a free pick. Twenty one widow and the black widow is like a better version of that. Claymore shotgun. I am sort of tempted by this Geff uh, let's see, the Javelin one, the Lions Marines. So the problem is I don't know what type of gun these things are. I am very curious because this looks cool as hell. So let's get this one. And then we can select a contract and earn more of those fancy items. Yeah, a view. Oh, we don't like fresher mars, but we also don't like Cerberus, so I think we'll go for the fresher mars spores. Yeah, so here we have that. Uh, Anything in this system? No, doesn't seem to be. Yeah, no, this seems completely empty. Right then! Also, we should have maybe also grabbed the other contracts. Oh well! Uh, let's. Uh, refuel? Yeah, why not refuel? Alright, so where might we find fresher more things? SCG base under attack. Well, that seems important. Ilos. Oh, well, we know about Ilos. If 
final battle of the first game. Yeah, with the creepy statues in the golden age of the proteins. It was a verdant world taught with spires and arts of magnificent cities. Even the casual observer shows this uh, is no longer the case. Isles has been devastated by means unknown. Its entire surface changed the color of rust. The atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen. Wildfires presumably ignited by lightning strike can be seen burning on the dark side. It's indicated that most, if not all, respirating animal life forms have died off. So it's gravity. Yeah, so not too much here. So I guess we need to scan it for us. Yeah. Okay, let's send the probe. Whoa! Well, we've seen this before. Report to Spectre Command, ILOS STG facility. Normally SR1 Science Officer on behalf of the Spectre of Spectre Shepherd. We enter the STG base, finding no survivors of the research team. Salarian bodies have been left to decompose, with clear signs of tortures and several victims. We saw evidence of Cerberus responsibility, given fire patterns correlating with Metoch rifles and human blood. Cerberus had removed the old profane systems containing the Vigil VI and hacked the main research, uh, the research database. Data recovered from an audio surveillance suggests they interrogated the staff about the catalyst before killing them. Commander Shepard sent something and investigated a corridor finding a hidden door that responded to the cipher. Inside was, it was an intact beacon along with a functioning status chamber containing a strange semi-organic looking implant. We believe the beacon broadcast the original warning signal from Ilos. The commander touched and suffered a paralyzing vision. He was immediately evacuated to the normally mech bay and is now recovered. Commander believes the vision showed the implants being used, in addition to a map showing other locations of possible protein sites. The Normandy team will continue to investigate these vaults and see whether they can give clues to the catalyst. Right, okay, so. More knowledge of, uh, well, a beginning of a search for protein stuff. Otherwise, there's nothing else in this system. Let's see if there's one more exploratory. Whoa, okay. Guess we got a whole bunch of stuff. Artemis Tau. Extract and seven troops. That seems quite important. Let's do that one first. Kind of lost the music here, it seems. Signal confirmed. Escape in evade mode. Oh shit! Reapers alerted. Evacuate system. IFF compromised. Full retreat necessary. Reapers, retreat from the system. Yeah, we need to do this evacuation quickly. Combat specialist. Okay. So get ready to fly as soon. WRONG PLANET! Fuck. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to do this uh, extraction uh, very smartly, so... Next time, I think we'll continue uh, searching for more clues in the galaxy. Maybe go after us, Protein Sight, see what secrets they hold. Till then.